I'm Michelle Coppage. I'm the Aeronautical Center Director for the Mike Monroney Aeronautical Center here in Oklahoma. We have a key organization that's part of our operational group called Second Level Engineering. So there is equipment installed across the whole national airspace system in every single state at all different facilities and these are critical for running aviation. So this is equipment like your radar equipment, your navigational equipment, uh, your lighting equipment that you see whenever you're coming in for a landing. This equipment has to be maintained and upgraded to keep it current and keep it operational and keep it up to speed with all the new technological advances. And so we have a group called Second Level Engineering that is responsible for all of that design control of that equipment. Hello, my name is Ty Lee. I'm in Second Level Engineering with the Surface Surveillance Group here at the Mike Monroe Aeronautical Center. As a second level engineering, we help to maintain, sustain, and improve upon the radar system that the national airspace use. It's to help air traffic controller have more situational awareness to help the customer travel the national airspace in a safe and efficient manner. So one of the great advantages of the Aeronautical Center that's unique across the nation is that we have most of the equipment that's out across the national airspace system replicated here at the Mike Monroney Aeronautical Center. So I'm talking about if you look out your window of your plane and you see a radar, those are those things that look like golf balls on top of a tower. Many of those are actually installed here at the Mike Monroney Aeronautical Center. When a pilot comes in for a flight, they look at the lighting that's in the ground and they can tell different information about their flight based on the lighting. So second level engineering is able to utilize those to replicate what happens actually in the National Airspace System. In my earlier years, I took automotive service technology at the Metrotech, and that was a great platform for me to be introduced into the mechanical side of engineering. From that point on, I took it upon myself to tinker. I tinker with stuff every day. I take stuff apart. I don't even know why sometimes. My parents don't even know why. But I just take it apart and put it back together. From there, it actually grew my interest in figuring out and finding out how things work, why they work a certain way they work, and from there, how do I make it better? You know, how do I make something faster? How do I make something brighter? One of the great avenues to get employees is through career tech. We have mechanics that work on our aircraft that are absolutely instrumental. If the airplane's not flying properly, we can't even start our mission. So we have received a lot of different employees over the years that have come from career tech and been very successful. And they have worked on our aircraft and some of them even move into management or other functions later because there's a lot of opportunities for growth after you get your foot in the door. I come from an immigrant family. I actually was born in Vietnam. So the first time I flew on a plane was when I left the country to fly to the Philippines. And from there, I thought it was the most amazing thing ever because you get into this, at the time, I thought it was a bus. We're getting into a bus, this bus can fly. And that's amazing, this flying bus that takes all these people across this open water over into a brighter future.